This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com, and in today's After Effects tutorial, we will create a super cool looking text glitch animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's a super simple effect and looks super awesome. So, with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080, that is a full HD. And I'll call this comp as our render comp, that is our main final render comp. 10 seconds long and 30 FPS, hit OK. Then let's create a new composition which is going to be our text placeholder. So I'm going to call this text. Let's unlink the lock expect ratio and change the height to 200 and hit OK. Then select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to just type in just like the example that we have hyper vibes. And the font that I'm using here is the Nexa black. I have mentioned the link in the description to download the same exact font. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that paragraph alignment is set to center text alignment. And then let's animate our text. So I'm going to go right over here in the animate section and let's add an opacity property. Set this to zero. Let's go into the range selector and let's animate the start property. So I'm going to create a keyframe on the start property. Go to around one second and 15 frames and let's set this to 100. Then go into the advanced properties and turn on randomize order. So now the opacity animates in a randomized order. Pretty simple and easy. Let's create one more anim animator. Animator. <laughs> let's create one more animator and um, let's add a tracking on this. At the very start, I'm gonna set the tracking amount to minus. Let's go with minus sixty or something. All right. Make sure you create a keyframe right over here. Then I'll go to one second and twenty frames, and set this to zero. So we have a pretty nice animation as you can see. Then I'm going to select these keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. And then let's zoom in quite a bit and pull this handle to the left holding shift. So we have a really nice and interesting animation. Pretty nice. Now I am planning to create a dedicated video explaining speed graph or the complete graph editor. So if you guys would be interested in that kind of videos, then do let me know in the comment section below where we will go a bit more in depth into, into the graph editor as graph editor plays a very important role when we are animating anything inside of After Effects. Anyways, so here we have our text animation already. Now let's go back into our main render comp. Let's drag and drop in our text composition. Now let's create a new composition and this is going to be our glitch map. Basically a uh, alpha map that will drive our glitch animation. So I'll call this glitch map. And uh, let's change the width to something like, um, let's go something like 5000. All right, hit OK. Then let's create a new solid hit control y and call this noise you can call it whatever that you want so then i'm going to select the layer go into fix and preset and type in fractal noise double click to apply that up let's change the noise type from soft linear to block increase the contrast all the way up to 400 and bring down the brightness a bit like minus 40 then go into the transform properties, unlink the uniform scaling and let's increase the scale width a bit by around 150. Bring down the complexity to 3 and our glitch map is almost ready. One thing that I want to add is some random animation to this. So I'm going to go into the evolution option and there we have random seed. I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch which is going to help us to Add an expression i'm going to use a very simple expression that is time times uh, six all right so it's gonna 
basically randomize the pattern which gives us a kind of a nice glitch map effect but let's take this one step further so to do that i'm going to select the layer again go into effects and preset and add an effect called wave warp double click to apply that up it looks pretty sweet and you can see it looks um, kind of interesting effect to play around with but let's change the wave type to let's go with noise increase the wave height to around 15 and uh, wave width let's increase it to 80 all right let's bring down the direction to zero and now it's looking a bit more glitchy as you can see it looks pretty nice we have some more detail into the complete map and it looks kind of cool right now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information check out the link in the description below so our glitch map is ready now let's go back into our main render composition drag and drop in our glitch map we can just hide that we don't need to see it and we have our text animation pretty cool now let's create some small elements that will complement the complete animation so to do that I'm going to select the rectangle tool and create a shape just like maybe so let's align this into the center just properly and I'll call this G element which is basically a glitch element I'll put this below our text and then go into effects and preset and search for effect called CC ball action and then I'm going to bring down the ball size to 40 so we get this nice dotted elements that we can use to enhance the complete look now what i'm going to do is set the is trim this g element layer to around 20 frames so i'm going to hold alt and close square bracket or right square bracket so we have a nice element here i'm going to put this just like that you can see it looks pretty nice and let's um, select this hit control d to duplicate it pull this just like that and i'm gonna hit u twice to reveal the size properties and let's bring down the size a bit maybe unlink this and let's bring that down i'm gonna place one right over here so we have two elements here pretty nice let's duplicate this one more time hit control d i'll pull this right over here and let's select this i'm gonna pull this one right here hit u two times and let's bring down the size like that all right so that is looking good so far now let's animate our text as well so i'm going to select the text i'm going to go to around 15 frames hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe and then hold control and alt at the same time and click on this keyframe which is going to convert the keyframe into a whole keyframe and then i'll go a few frames forward maybe let's go like around i don't know seven frames so i'm gonna hit seven times page down one two three four five six seven and let's bring down the scale i believe to around bring up the scale to let's say 120 again let's go seven frames forward and bring that down to around 65 let's go seven frames forward and set that back to 100 basically so let's see what we get and as you can see we get a very nice look pretty cool now let's do our main glitchy stuff that the glitchy animation distorted animation that you saw in the animation so to achieve that i'm gonna right click create a new adjustment layer we can call this uh, let's call this this for displacement then select the layer go into effects and preset and search for displacement map double click to apply that up let's select the displacement map layer to the glitch map that we created so right off the bat you can see we can play around with this and achieve some really cool glitches right pretty awesome it looks awesome in itself actually but let's set the use for horizontal displacement from red to luminance 
and also bring down the max vertical displacement down to zero we only need to play around with the max horizontal displacement so let's go at the very start and set the max horizontal displacement to 75 create a keyframe go to around one second and 15 frames and set this to zero so now let's preview our animation and see what we get Pretty cool. I think I will drag this a bit more further in time. Now, finally, right over here, just before the glitch ends, I will add a nice wave warp effect on this. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this wave. I'm going to hold alt and um, left or open square bracket to cut that up. Let's go to 20 frames, one second, 20 frames and split. Oh hold alt and right square bracket to split that up as well then go into fix and preset and type in wave warp let's go into wave type and set this to smooth noise and i'm going to increase the wave height to 20 and let's bring down the direction to zero so we get a really nice look so while it animates out we have a little bit of you know kind of a distorted look looks pretty nice kind of a bit of add-on now, no glitch effect is completed without the RGB look that we can create with this. So let's select everything. Hit Control Shift C, call this animation. You can call it whatever that you want. Hit OK. Go into Effects and Preset and search for Shift Channels. I'm going to double click to apply that up. Let's change the blending mode of this to Add. And right here, I'm going to take red from red. Take green from green. I will set this to full off and set the take blue from to full off. Then duplicate this hit control D select the second one set the red to full off and turn on the green duplicate this one hit control D let's change the blending mode of this to normal let's set the green to full off and just turn on the blue then I'm going to move every uh, displace them basically by one frames and now there we have a super cool and pro looking glitch text animation you can reveal anything that you want using this cool effect now the best part of this is you can anytime jump into your text change the text to whatever text that you like you can also add a few elements so let's say if i add something like a shape here with a stroke of two and set the fill to none you know and let's align this let's animate this really quick i'm gonna animate this size go back and set this to zero pretty cool right so now if i preview this looks very very nice maybe i need to displace this a little bit and increase the size a little bit and boom as you can see we have a super cool glitchy glitchy text animation instead of our proof effects that too without using any plugin so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comment section below if you find this video helpful i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative and also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i am super active by the way i will see you in the next video peace out